Hello, everybody. We are live. Um, yeah, it's uh, exciting to be live again. Hello, everybody. I'm just trying to see the comments. No sound yet. No, not yet, but that will come. Hello, everybody. Hi, Femke. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Els. On the road. Hi, Sandy. Hello, everybody. We Hello. are live. Let me switch off um, my... Uh, yeah, it's uh, exciting to be live. There. That's better. I had my iPad on the side as well and uh, uh, to check whether the sound was working, yes or no. But it's working. Um, hello, everybody. Yes. Hi, Katrina. Happy to have you here. Hi, Belinda. Good to see you. Hi, Sandra. Um, hello, everybody. How is everybody doing today? It's Wednesday. And just in case you don't know, my name is David and I'm here for Elizabeth Craft Designs today. So good to see you all. Welcome to today's live. Uh, hi, Diana from Tampa, Florida. Hi, Cora. Ina is here as well. Cindy is here. Good to see you, everybody. And else, good to see that you have internet on the road. That's good. I'm trying to catch up with the comments, but you're going so quickly already. So that's, um, uh, uh, that's good. Yes, everything is working. I couldn't be more happy because we've had our challenges in the past. But um, yeah, don't forget to like, share and comment uh, to make a chance to win the gift certificate of $50. Important. Do that. Like, share and comment um, because that will definitely help you. Let me get rid of this message so I can see what you're all saying. Yeah, I was echoing. I had my uh, iPad on as well. So that's sorted now. We're ready to go. So I see we are... Um, already uh, um, having a lot of people tuning in. That's good. Um, so let's change the screen to uh, my uh, workstation so we can uh, go ahead and start crafting because I think crafting is what we need nowadays. Um, hi, Mary. Good to see you. Hi, Kathleen, Patricia, Anya. Good to see everybody. If I miss you, of course, welcome to everybody. But uh, yeah, there's too many people already for me to name everybody, but it's good to see you all. Uh, so let's switch down to my workstation and have some fun, shall we? Good. Um, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be playing with the Retro Bus set, this fantastic set. It was out of stock for a long time, but Els told me it was gonna be back in stock, I think tomorrow, she said. So that's uh, very good to... to uh, to know. Um, I'm just trying to get the comments now on my iPad um, to see if that's going to work. Um, never mind. Um, I'm going to be using the bus set and uh, that should be uh, back in stock now. So if you haven't got your hands on it, now's the time to do it. It's a fantastic set. You can use it, of course, in your planners, etc. But it's so versatile. You can use it for fairly anything. Um, you can make cards with it, etc. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I've already prepared everything. Um, I'm going to be making a birthday card. And it's quite a big card. As you can see, this is the normal size, uh, A5. Um, this is the card that I'm going to be making. I've already prepared the base card. So I've got my base card, two matte layers, uh, and the inside already prepared as well. This is going to be a card for my best friend. He's turning 50. Um, and uh, so hence the text, you're not old, you're vintage. Now I've made this text. It's not a stamp. I've made this myself with my uh, Cricut machine. Um, I don't know if you can pick it up, but it's a glitter um, uh, gel pen that I use to write this. Uh, because, well, everybody can use a bit of glitter in the world, right? Especially nowadays. So the glitter is there. I love that. There's going to be far more sparkle and shine and glitter on this card, but I will get back to that a bit later on. On the inside of the card, I'm going to be using this die set from the Elizabeth Craft Designs Essentials 8. And I'm going to make this card and I'm going to turn that into a pocket um, to slide in a gift card. Um, that's going to be on the inside of the card. And I've used this set. That's the Elizabeth Craft Designs Planner Essentials 37, letters and numbers. I'm going to be using that as well. So a lot of different die sets that we're going to be using. Uh, 
So let's have some fun. Um, you're not old, you're classic. That's a good one as well. Um, like, share, and comment. Good, and that's good. It's a good quote for that bus card, right? You're not old, you're vintage. So um, I'm going to put this to the side because I'm going to start with my... Oh, there's a bit of... There we go. I'm going to start with my um, front layer. And I'm going to be stamping on that using um, this stamp. And this is a stamp from Tim Holtz. It's got the script uh, on it. So that's what I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be stamping that with Bursamark. And I'm going to stamp that on the background just to give it some dimension. And make that a bit of fun. So let's put that on there. And I'm just going to put it on freely because it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just putting it on like this. Ink it up again. And this is just a very nice, very fine scripty font. Nothing in particular to read, but uh, put that here. I just like that vintage look uh, this stamp has. So that's why I'm putting it on the background. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because the big part of this is going to be covered up with that retro bus. But I do want some bits and bobs on there. So there we go. Now, you've guessed it. I'm going to be using Versamark. So I'm going to heat emboss. So I'm, I've got the, my uh, Ranger clear embossing the super fine detail because this is a super fine script. So, and I'm going to put that on my card. And I need to get myself a coffee filter. But I have to buy them in bulk in the Netherlands, these uh, the ones that uh, Els uses, but they are very handy. So I might just go ahead and buy them. So that's covered. Let me clean that up because I know myself that will be a complete mess if I don't do that immediately. Now let me look at the comments before I heat emboss this. Hello, Penny. Uh, can you make... I saw a question, now I've lost it. A YouTube movie... Oh, Patricia, I might do that. That could be a good idea to do that. Actually, uh, for card making, I don't very much use my Cricut. I use it for sentiments, etc. And I use my Cricut for um, uh, vinyl, etc. So that's a whole different uh, different story. Right. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to make some noise. I'm going to heat set this very quickly. I'll try to move it away from the microphone a bit. But I have to melt this. So you can hardly see it now, but it's melting and it will have a very nice effect in a minute. So bear with me. Sorry about the noise. Okay, this is all melted and done. Sorry about the noise. This was it, guys. The noise. So that's step one. 
Um, and then, since last week, uh, I forgot the lady's name, Deborah, I think it was. She was working with sprays. And I thought, okay, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to be working with sprays to create my background. And uh, that's going to be fun. So I'm going to get my splatter box out. Try to fit it in frame. I'm going to cover the bottom with two pieces of kitchen towel. There we go. And that was the retro bus. And I'm going to be using several um, kind of ink sprays. I'm going to use the dis Distress Spray Stain. I'm going to be using the Oxide Spray and I'm going to be using a Mica Stain that I'm shaking up under my table to uh, prevent the noise. Um, so, um, because that's the downside of these, you have to shake them up right before you use them. Both the Oxide and the Spray. Yeah, by the way, I saw somebody subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, I'm live uh, tomorrow on my YouTube channel. I'm going to have a lot of fun tomorrow. I'm going to be using my um, uh, the pull tab, and but I'm going to be using that in my planner to make a page. So I'm going to combine those two. So the, the pull tab from Josette's collection, I'm going to combine that with the planner set. So that's going to be fun. Right, new color. Not the newest color, but the, the color before that. Villainous Potion. Lovely color. So I'm going to... Spray that on my card. Then I'm going to use Selvage Patina, which is a great combination with that purple. And since I'm using different mediums, like oxide, oxide spray is a different uh, uh, structure and a different medium than the uh, spray stain, you get a different effect as well because the oxides, they oxidize. And the spray stains, well, they don't. <laughs> and what you see, the embossing is resisting the sprays. Now I'm just spraying some water, just plain water, because I want to get some movement in that, in these sprays. And I'm drying it. And while it is drying, I can see I want some more dioxide. And then while this is drying, I am going to use the Distress Mica Stain. This is sort of a goldish color. And I'm just going to splatter some on there. Not too much. Because this mica is very powerful. It can take over. I don't want that. But I do want that hint of brown on there. Then I'm drying this. Are you having fun, guys? You like it? Oh, that's good to see. Sandy, you did that. Good. Does it work? It does, doesn't it? You can do fun things with it. Okay, that's done. And you, I can hear you. It's not dry completely. No, it's not. But I, I know that. And I'm just going to dab the rest off. Because it's dry enough. Right. Splatter box out of the way and then I'm gonna finish up with some droplets of water because that's what uh, for me is the beauty of the distress sprays that they are water activated so if I put some droplets on there and that's the beauty of this sprayer if you completely pull down the handle it's gonna give you a, a, a mist but if you just do it partially you get drops and I'm gonna let these drops sit on there for a second and then I'm going to dry them. 
but not dry them completely. But what this does, uh, it activates the ink underneath. Then I'm going to uh, dab it off. And what you see is that the outside of that spot is darker because I've started, that started to dry. And then the inside, I'm lifting some ink off. And that gives a nice dimension to that card. At least that's what I think. Now, I think this has vintage retro written all over it, right? Look at that beautiful, beautiful background. But I'm not 100% done because the outside of this, I want a bit darker. So I'm taking my uh, vintage photo. Femke, it's not scary to make because what can happen? Hi, Marie Claire. What can happen? Um, it's just paper in the end. So it doesn't, ooh, you saw that, it's spinning. So now I'm just on the outside. I'm just gonna give this a bit more of that vintage look. So I'm back to my grungy self. After all the cuteness I did, I had to do something grungy and vintage. Um, watch Saturday's video. Saturday is going to be a fun, fun video. Um, cuteness overload in that one. I've messaged Josette saying my reputation is completely down the drain now. Because I'm that was cuteness overload. It's going to be fun. The, the water sports, spots really add to it. I agree. And I think vintage photo as well gives it a really nice... Crunchy vintage look. Good. So that's that. Let me clean up my mess. And then I'm going to look at the comments. But there's really nothing scary about playing with these sprays. I know it looks intimidating, but they're easy and friendly to use. It's not nothing scary about it. Really. Right. That's to the side now. This is drying nicely. Let me have a look at the comments. I'm pretty good, right? I'm still clean. I should have put on a different shirt. This is a, a dress shirt. I had a, a, a fun day today. Cuteness and grunge. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to find that card that I'm, I made, but I've misplaced it. Now, let me see. Where did I put it? Oh, I don't know. Never mind. Um, I will uh, continue with what I'm doing now because we still have a lot of things to do before we are done. So, I told you it was going to be colorful and shiny. And that's true. Look at this. We've got a rainbow bus. Uh, now I've put my mat away, but I was too soon. Because this, this I made with um, the, the glimmer plate from Spellbinders. Um, but yeah, it's going to be, uh, uh, as I said, a birthday card for my best friend. And um, it's rainbow. I think some people will understand why. Um, it speaks for itself. We've been friends ever since, uh, I think we were 18 years old, uh, when, uh, we first met and, uh, well, he's 50 now and I'm 49. So you do the math. There we go. So this is going to be the background, the base layer of that bus. And then I've got the next layer. That's the top of the bus. I'm just going to put it all out there. Then I've got this layer, which I've cut out of the Tim Holtz uh, metallic paper as well. But the black one, there's a black version as well. So that's going to be on top of that. Then I've got the bumper. It's going to go there. Then I've got the luggage thingamabobbly 
over there, the top layer, the imperial, is that how you call that in English, this thing? Uh, it's from Altenew. It's uh, the craft mod from Alpen Altenew. Um, then I've got the peace sign, the windows. These are the windows. These are the black ones and these are the silver ones. I think I will use the silver ones as windows because that will contrast nicely with the black border. Then I've got the tires, and even the tires are nice and shiny. Nice, shiny and sparkling. So those are the tires. So let's get started to assemble this fun card. Luggage rack, yeah, but we call it an imperial in Dutch, but I don't know the English word. Luggage rack sounds uh, logical, Belinda. Roof rack in the USA, okay. Good to know. Right, I'm going to put the tires on. First. Because, I'm going to be very honest, I forget about these all the time. So that's why I'm doing that first, that I can't forget them. So that's that. Uh, I've already put glue on the tires, on the base of the bus. So, how is everybody doing? In the Netherlands, we had lovely weather today. Enjoying the sunshine. It's looking like spring. Luggage rack. Okay, thank you, Els. Luggage rack. Yeah, me too. I love the shine and the sparkle and... and uh, uh, it's... Uh, Fun. And especially for the person that I'm making this card for, trust me, it's very suitable. Right, so the tires are on there. So next I'm going to put the bumper on there. Now, normally I would have cut these out of uh, with the adhesive on the back, the double-sided adhesive. But stupidly enough, I forgot about that. I uh, forgot to do, put that behind there and I didn't want to cut everything out again. So, hence I'm using the glue. But this is much more convenient and easy to do when you uh, have the adhesive on the back. Let me look at your comments. This is really what I like about this, this retro bus, the versatility of it. You can really do so many different things with it. Um, and yeah, in this case, it's going to be a lot of shine and sparkle. But, but yeah, um, uh, you can make different sort of cards uh, with it. Let me show you. Let me get one. This is a card I made uh, when the bus was released. Uh, and this is just a flip card using uh, the same collection, but a completely different uh, card again. Uh, this is going to be different again. So, yeah, there are so many different ways you can build a card with this set. And that's what I love about it. Um, right. So let's put this piece on. And what I really like, but this is with everything that, that Esther designs, uh, not just Esther, but... Um, in, in case of the planner essentials, it's so easy to assemble. There's nothing, there's no rocket science behind it. And that's what I really like because I'm not really technical and um, this should go behind here, right? I was too early with the bumper. There we go. There we go. Fixed, done and dusted and sorted out. Just the way we like it. Right, then the peace sign is going in the middle. I know, Belinda, I saw that. It's a very nice page you made, by the way. Belinda just posted uh, uh, a page 
um, with using this bus, and it really is a beautiful page. Um, and you've got a hidden pull tab behind it, right? If I saw that correctly. So the peace sign is on there. And then quite important. And it's, I told you, it's going to be a shiny card. 50 is going to be on there. Like this. Cool, right? That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Now I've got a lot of loose elements here, so because I've also made a number plate that's going to be right here. So I'll let me put that on. And the number plate says, my comments are stuck. I keep forgetting that you can see my face now. That's new to me. So uh, if I make weird faces, forgive me about that. But then I can, at least I can look at you now. That's fun. Oh, why don't I have nails? Come on. I can't get this off. I've uh, got it. There we go. This bumper I made says CJ, stands for Christian, 1972, which is his birth year. That's going to be the number plate. So that's going to be on here. I need to do it like this because otherwise I can't see it. Three is that the set will be in, back in stock soon. In both the US and in, the, in Europe. That's why I'm, uh, I'm using it today because I didn't want to... Uh, Use it if it wasn't available. There we go. The five is on there. And this is how I build up my bus. Now, there are many ways to do it. Uh, people have different ideas, but yeah, this is how I do it. Um, I think this, every time again, I think this set is so uh, fantastic. Because again, this is so different than everything else we've done before uh, with it. Um, is there anything else I can do now? Yeah, I can put on this window. Do this. Line that up. Sorry guys, I had to pick it up because otherwise I can't line it up properly unless I put my head in the way. I don't want to do that. You don't have to see my gray hair, right? You see it here already, so. You see my head once, you don't have to see it twice, right? Hi, Kobe, goedenavond. I'm from 72, so that means I'm young as well. Yay! Yeah, well done, Karen. Like, commented, and shared. Don't forget to do that. Yona, I know. I was having a tweezer in one hand and then peeling with my the same hand. Why didn't I use the tweezer? I don't know. I'm, I've got a thick head at the moment. Sorry about that. Um, but you're absolutely right. Yeah, that's foil, and it's not on craft paper. It was on just plain white paper, but I've made it brown. The ones, the bits that are poking out, uh, I've made it brown with vintage photo. You can see that here. So uh, that's foil. I foiled this piece with um, my uh, Spellbinders Glimmer. And uh, this is just the shiny paper from Tim Holtz. So uh, that's that part. Right. The top can go on. 
And then I think I need to go back to my front to finish that up before we can continue. Yeah, I know, you know, it's, uh... oh, well. It is what it is, right? Oh, I really love this bus. It's going to be so cute. Good. Put this to the side. Don't lose anything because I've done that before as well. Right. Here's my card front. Now, I want this bus to be have a bit of dimension. So I'm going to put some foam. To foam. And I can't talk today. I'm going to put some foam tape on the back. Hi, Marjolein. No problem. You can always look back if you want to. Um, but nice of you to join in the fun. For me, that's uh, everyday business brain mal malfunction. Marie Claire, are you still here? What was that stamp that you told us about? I really need to get that stamp. It was about multitasking and it really applies to me. It was really funny. Well, that's good then. Then you're in the right address, uh, Belinda, because silly is my middle name. Especially when I'm doing many things at the same time. Thank you, guys. It's a nice one, this bus. I'm just going to cut this in half. Now, normally, if this card would go in the post, I would not put this much foam behind it. But since I'm going to hand deliver this to him personal. Hey, Femke. Uh, he can drive this bus one, one week a year. You know that one week in Amsterdam in August, that's when he can use it. You can never have enough bling in that week. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Exactly, they see you coming from far away. Da -da -da -da. I think I've got all the pieces of, yes. No, 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 I'm not going to forget the windows. That's why I'm doing, uh, putting the bus on here now so I can assemble it further when it's on here. So that's going to be a tight fit, but it will fit. There we go. Because now I can put the windows in and I'm going to put the windows in with some glue. and place them really inside. So I'm going to push them in like this. And that will give it some depth as well, that the windows are a bit further to the back. That's what I thought, at least. Now we're going to find out together whether it's going to work or not. I'm not going to sing. Did I sing? No. It was so funny. I, um, Els, obviously, you know Els. <laughs> um, she is on her way to Colorado. But every time Els says Colorado, there's a song popping in my head. Um, and that song is uh, uh, it's from the Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, so the people in the US probably don't know it, but the Dutch people will definitely know it. It's from Sandra Reimer. And every time Els says Colorado, I start to sing that song. Um, and it's really funny because um, 
And this afternoon, Els posted on Facebook that she was on her way to Colorado. And then I couldn't resist. So I placed the text on there. Whoa, whoa, Colorado. Now the song is in my head the whole day. Did I really do that? I did that, right? Put the glue on the wrong... Oh, no. Right. The wipers are on there. It's coming together. Why didn't I put adhesive behind this when I was cutting it? Dumbo. Dumb. Don't do as I do, do as I say. So put adhesive behind this when you cut it out. It saves you a lot of fuzz. Uh, that goes on here. That goes on here. Now you can use, uh, of course, acetate as the windows or put embossing powder on there as windows. There's many, 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 many way, many ways how you can um, do this. Um, but I just thought for now, I wanted to do it like this and put them a bit lower. Because I popped up the bus, that gives me the opportunity to put those behind them, behind there a bit, and then I'm going to put this one on. Whoa, whoa, Colorado. Yeah, the song is in my head now. Here I was teasing else, but then I get punished myself. And there we have a big part of the bus already. It's coming together. I like it. That's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mirrors. Bling bling mirrors. Oh, I'm not the only one who forgets to cut with adhesive, I see. Thank you, Jackie. There we go. It's really coming together. I love it when a plan comes together. That was from the A-Team, right? A long time ago. Gosh, I'm getting old. Headlights. We got, ooh. That's the only downside of the foil. That's really slippery. It's really slippery. It is, Ruli. It's stuck in my head and I can't get rid of it. That's what I get from teasing other people. So it's my own fault. Yeah, you're welcome, Anita. <laughs> yeah. um, and then instead of the smaller circles, I'm going to put the uh, flowers on as blinkers, because well, why not? Oop. Go there. And go there. To have a look. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun car. Now let's hope he doesn't watch my YouTube channel before his birthday, but I don't think he will. I don't think he will. Sorry, Rainy. Whoa, whoa Colorado. 
Vlieg met me mee naar Colorado. Wow, wow, wow. Ja. Well, Els is far on her way to Colorado now, so... Right, that's that. I think I have all the elements on there, right? I think I do. So it's time to get my base card out. And I'm going to get my big roll. Of <sighs> Got it. My big roll of foam tape. I'm going to put foam tape on the back of this front layer. Da -da -da -da. It's super shiny, yes, it does. If you look, uh, maybe I don't know if Daniel is watching, he can put the link in the comments, but otherwise search for inspiration for cards or just my name, David Rodenberg, David with an E, um, then you will find it. Because, guys, sorry else, I'm going to do a shameless plug. I have a goal to go for a thousand subscribers, so you would really help me out if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Right, back to this. I'm going to put a layer of foam tape on the back. Uh, Genie, I made the background using um, uh, embossing powders and spray stains over it. If you if the video is done and you go back, uh, you can see how I made it, because I made it during the live. So, peel these off. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Anya, for posting the link. Very sweet. Yeah, it's a huge roll, but it's fantastic stuff. Um, I like it. Thank you guys, that's sweet of you. Right, now, I have to pick this up because I don't want to ruin this card. After all this work, I don't want to ruin this, so I'm just gonna... There we go. Ah, it's looking so cool. I love how these colors come back, the colors of the back layers, it's all coming back in the rainbow. Um, it's got some nice dimension. It's really nice. At least I think it's really nice. So let me clean up my mess and then we're going to do the final steps. Let me look at the time. Oh, we're still good time-wise, so that's good. Okay. Next, I'm going to assemble um, this part. So what I've done, I've cut out this piece using the Sidekick Essentials 8. Um, and I'm going to assemble that. Now that's very easy. What I've done, I've got it here. Um, and I've already, uh, what I've done with using my uh, foil plate, I've stamped Make a Wish and Happy Birthday on there. I've already put in these bits. Now, these are the circles that come with the same die set. Sorry, I should have kept it here. These are, you cut out, that's those two circles. And then you put them through, and I've used a, <coughs> how do you call that in English? Somebody tell me. In Dutch, it's split pen. How do you call that? I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to get my tape and I'm going to close this down. But it's important you put these things on before you put in the... the Thank you, Jean. I'm, st I'm waiting till the, for the delay of... Uh, there's a delay and I'm trying to find out the English word for this, the bread. Thank you. <sighs> Brain dead. 
So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put some, I'm going to take the thinner tape, the three mil tape, which I hope is going to be back in stock soon because I'm going to see the end of this. Um, and I don't know what to do without it. It's a, a bread. Split pen is bread. Thank you, guys. Uh, I want to do it right. So it's got to be here. There we go. That's that. That's going to go like that. And then... over here but of course i don't want the holes to be visible thank you else i'm gonna put some smaller bits here because i want this to stay put obviously yeah, now i'm messing it up mm. stuck to my fingers Final bit of tape. <laughs> yeah, but English is, is sort of like, yeah, how do you say that? I've been working in the UK and I've spoken so much English. So when I can't find words, I blame myself because I should, it's, it's English is almost, almost my first language. Uh, especially in writing, my English is better than my Dutch. Trust me. Um, and with all that knowledge, now I'm going to be working for a German company. Can you believe it? So I got to start all over again learning German. But anyways, that's what it is. Right, I'm going to put this on. Is it a seat pocket? No, it's uh, seat pockets is something different. This is I don't know what it what you call it, but it's not the seat pocket. That one was different, if I'm correct. So that's on there. Crooked, of course. There we go. The the pocket that comes that's coming from this die set, the sidekick essentials eight. And then I'm going to put this one over there, but I don't want these holes to be visible. So what I'm going to do, I had a roll. Bear with me. I've lost something. I've got a piece of uh, sort of rainbow color washi tape here because it matches the theme of the boss. And put that over the holes. So you don't see the holes anymore. And the gold is coming back, the gold foil. So that's what I like. I like things to come back, but also I like things to be organized so that's that one and i like this size because it it fits um a gift card but you can also fit uh some money in there i think it's a gift card pocket indeed um i had some rope here there we go so i'm gonna close this i'm gonna Put this rope under here. Eh, there we go. And then the other side. You see what I'm doing? So I started here with the rope, crossing over, going over this side, going back, making like a figure eight. Like that. Then I'm going to cut this off. And then the gift card 
is already done as well. I just love, 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 love the versatility, versatili vers I can't speak today, I told you. The versatility of these, um, these dies that you can mix and match and do different things and you make cards and make gift cards. Uh, yeah, I just love that. So I'm going to put some tape on the back. So that it stays put pretty well. I don't have that one. I wish I do. The camera set. I really love that uh, set, but it's uh, I don't have it. That was before my time. Oh well, that's how it goes, right? You can't have everything. Count your blessings. Be happy with what you do have. That's my. Now I've. Uh, I had the golden cord first, and it did it clashed. It was the wrong different. Uh, blah. It was the wrong color of gold, uh, so it didn't match. So that's why I did not use the gold. That's why I went with the green. But I thought the same. I wanted gold, but I didn't have the right color. There, it's on there. Now there we have it. It's a big and a heavy card, guys. It's really heavy. Uh, I hope you like it. It's uh, it's turned out to be a fun card. Um, it's got a lot of shine to it. It's got dimension to it. I love the background. Um, and then, of course, the fun bit. You're not old. You're vintage. I'm going to write a personal message here um, from me and Daniel. But yeah, this is... Uh, I think he's going to like it. And I... Um, Um, Belinda, I made this myself on my uh, Cricut machine. So uh, it's not a stamp or anything. I made it myself. Can I? Uh, I will have to look at that. Um, because I really like that set. Yeah, I still have room for a note, etc. So my personal message will be there. Um, so yeah, that's a fun card um right guys this was it for today um again you still have uh, about 10 seconds left to like share and comment so please do that before you uh, forget uh, to win the 50 dollar gift certificate uh thank you guys for watching i uh, really enjoyed spending my wednesday evening with you it was fun i hope you enjoyed it as well and i really like to see you next time again, if there's going to be a next time, but that's up to else, of course. Uh, but thank you again for watching, for tuning in tonight, for supporting me, and uh, I hope you had fun. And get this retro bus set. It's really, really fun. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic evening. Stay healthy, stay safe, and see you the next time. Thank you. Bye.